What you can have the two daughters come up and do their assignments to uh, Jennifer and, and Sterling, respectively. Well, let's see here. The way uh, Wayne explained this to me, I sort of thought it was a, maybe a roast instead of a toast. That's <laughs> fine, you know. <laughs> Sterling, one thing you can do expect from Jennifer will be uh, intelligent conversation because no matter what the subject is, I guarantee she has read an article about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime, I guess in about the ninth grade and all the way through high school, any time we would bring up any subject, uh, you know, if there was a little disagreement or something, Jennifer would say, I read an article about that. <laughs> and she would go on and explain to us what should happen. Right or not, we don't really know. But she was always ready to discuss any subjects that we ever brought up. So starting to expect a lot of good conversation. <laughs> okay. Jennifer. You can expect some determination out of Sturt. Now, I'll tell you a story about when he was about that high. And he and uh, Wayne and Dale and I decided we'd climb Timpanogos Mountain down here. You know. That's a seven mile hike up to the top. And uh, of course, you know, these little kids, oh yeah, I can do it, Dad, I can do it, don't worry. So we, <coughs> we started up the, the trail and Wayne was old enough, he, he could kind of keep up with me. And, but, Sterling and, and Dale were just a little, this was a bit taxing for them. And, and they were coming up the trail, and I told them, well, we're, we'll come to this lake, you know. And they kept, oh, no end. Where's that lake, Dad? Well, come on, let's go around the bend. It's a little further. I didn't know how to explain it to them any better than that. And pretty soon, Dale and, and Sterling were coming up the trail with big tears out of their eyes, and they were crying, and they were... Dad, where is that lake? You told us it was just around the bend, and we've gone around lots of bends. <laughs> I says, look, kids, if, you know, if it's this hard on you, and you were, they were both just crying, they were pretty small. And by this time, they'd walked about five miles. I says, look, all right, no, the lake isn't too much further. I says, we'll go up to the lake, and then you can just sit down there and rest and wait for Wayne and I to climb to the mountain. And Sterling jumped up, furious. Dad, you told me I could go to the top of that mountain, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so he marched up there, and then just a little ways further, we came to this lake, and uh, you know, just a small lake there, and he marched right past it, went right up the mountain, turned around and came back. <laughs> it was a pretty small kid, he walked, uh, he went 14 miles that day, and climbed about 5,000 feet. <laughs> Now, did you say that was Mount Timpanogos? Or did yeah. You? Okay. Well, after the Timpanogos story and the bear story, uh, I'm sure you get the idea that Sterling's quite the outdoorsman, and I hope it's no surprise, but I have another outdoor story for you. <laughs> and uh, this, was, uh, this was when I really, what really became cemented in my mind that Sterling is, is a terrific team player. He really, he really knows how to be a team player and partner of um, whoever he's with to accomplish whatever whatever the goal is. And I recall uh, after I finished law school and I was studying for the bar exam, I was living in Laramie, Wyoming, where the, where the uh, bar exam was going to be administered. And I really didn't have anything to do but study. And I didn't know anybody there because all my friends, had, you know, I didn't go to school in Laramie uh, for law school. Um, so I didn't really have any friends there. So uh, I spent all summer there just exercising. And I knew after I finished the bar exam, I wanted to go uh, climb some mountains, and I, I needed a partner, and I had talked Sterling into going with me, or maybe he, he talked me into taking him with him, or maybe it was uh, just this great idea we both had. I don't really remember, but I was living <clears throat> at about 7,200 feet, and I was able to go up even higher to train. And uh, Sterling was in uh, uh, Buffalo, New York, at sea level. Uh, most of the summer, it seems to me. I don't remember how long, but he was there at, at, at sea level. And... Uh, uh, I had a lot of nervous energy, so I was really getting in shape and spending a lot of time at high altitude, and I, I know was working out. Sterling's the most athletic, uh, ta athletically talented, I believe, out of all of us. He's, uh, he's really incredible what he can do in a, in a very short amount of time. But um, 
he was definitely not acclimatized to anything above uh, tree line. But uh, we uh, uh, we got together after I'd taken the bar. We met in Salt Lake City, and we were off on this mountain climbing expedition. We really didn't know where we were going, but we knew we wanted to climb uh, Mount Whitney, California, which is the highest point in the lower 48 states. So we knew we were going there. Where else we were going, we really weren't sure. So we just kind of got in the car and drove out that direction. And, and kind of the first place we ended up was in southwest Nevada. Um, and we decided we wanted to attempt the highest point in Nevada, which is Boundary Peak, which is on the boundary between California and Nevada. And Boundary Peak is actually a sub-peak of, of the entire massif that's there. And, and across this little saddle where the boundary between California and Nevada is, there's, there's another little peak that's even higher. And uh, we got up that morning, and I'll tell you, we, we didn't have any uh, of the, uh, we didn't have a pump to pump water, and we didn't have any of the little pills to uh, uh, purify the water. So after we had our breakfast, which was uh, fried potatoes and scrambled eggs, we boiled some water, and we only had one pot. So the water was really gross, and it was really warm, but that, that was the deal. That was the water. This was the trip we had to go, and, and uh, it was hot, and when we got above tree line, uh, it started to get difficult, and uh, uh, it was it was rough going. It was really really hot. But we made the first we made Boundary Peak. We're at the